fact. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Um, Let it be known. Caesar did say he's the best player in the room and world. Um, so you said that. So that no one's standing in his way, mm -hmm. including KDK. Specifically called him out. So that is uh, quite a story, I'd have to say. Let's see how it plays out. He's also wearing a Spider-Man shirt. I don't know how that affects him. Shout out Spider-Man. Yep. So this is gonna be a Oh, I like the transition. Dude, that is so fire. I have not seen that yet. I mean shit, this push should be the new summit venue. I mean it's pretty much just as good. Dude. Okay, so um first hand you look and you say, wow. Uh, DK's is not that good, but um, he's actually different. KDK wow. doesn't play DK, he plays um, the game. Like a, I, I don't even know how to describe it. Um, like a madman. Like, like a man who wants... Yeah, like a madman, actually that's right. Like a madman. Wow. Um, in, that, in that first like couple like 30 seconds of the game, we saw uh, Surgis immediately being fortunate of uh, the opposite. Yeah. He's, um... We played opposite. KDK is really, um... Well, he's not... KDK has been playing for a while, and he's really knowledgeable in a lot of matchups. You can't really catch him off guard with a matchup, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, he, he's prepared for most things you can send him at him, so... To beat him, you can't just, you know, do, be really good with your character. You have to also be able to show... Prove to him that you have what it takes to beat him, and that means throwing out a lot of new things that he's not ready for. Well, and you gotta outplay him as, a, as an actual player. Well, that's what I mean. Like, you have to. That's what I mean by like showing him things he's not ready for. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he's more than experienced with any matchup, so you can't matchup check him. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. He might be DK, but it doesn't matter. Caesar's looking really yep. solid. Dude. Caesar's wise beyond his years, and he's at, he's he's really good. And um, he uh, there's not a challenge I see that he can't take, even though uh, we make fun of him. But like he, I see him play someone, and I'm like, yeah, he could probably beat this guy, even if it's like PR number one Andrew, like Sen, yeah. or if it's like um, some random guy. I, I feel like he can. He's just got to keep it going. Mm -hmm. um, Cause he's looking really solid this game one, but yeah. I feel like I've seen like sets where he looks really solid game one, and then he kind of runs out of momentum. Yeah, he's he runs out of steam. I'd say like he yeah. plays really well, um, but the thing about this game is it's about adaptation, and you you can't just play good game one. You got to bring new stuff to the table each game. Uh, and that was a great first game, um, but he has to realize that KDK is going to come back with uh, a new plan, and he needs to come out firing. Second game the same way. Caesar is a uh, just like him of Joe, another up and coming player who's just gotten really good really fast. Um, you watch him and you're like, damn, I wish that could be me. Yeah. <laughs> like he they he just has that that mindset that goes so well with the game. Three, two, the game two PS2 a lot of PS2. Go! Um, I assume Caesar's gonna kind of start the game the same way um, until he sees that KDK is adapted to it. Oh, Whoa, I like that. I'm going off a grenade. Yeah. Um. Ooh. Yeah. I like how he threw that grenade while he was jumping. That was a really nice call. Yeah. He is he's doing such a good job. He is he's covering every game. option. Um, he's, it's like he's, there, he's sharing the yeah. same brain. Yeah. Yeah, uh, he knows exactly what he's going to do, it feels like. Oh my god. He's uh, using his explosives like a, like a, like how a sword he uses his sword. That's actually a good way to put it. Keep he's out of perfect range. He's, oh um, my god. He's perfectly placing each explosive in a way where, like, every option's coming. Oh yeah. And, I mean, I don't know, but, like, I don't see many, even good snakes, I don't see them do it that well. I, Caesar uh, Soda Juice is really good with his bombs and yep. grenades. Wow, up air? He gets an up air okay. on DK? Oh my god. 
Uh, one thing I'm noticing is that uh, KDK is not playing around the grenades very well right now. Uh, okay. Yeah, he has to change up his approach. Uh, yeah, he, and he realizes that. He can't really keep taking these trades. Yeah. I mean, DK's big, but he, yeah. yeah, he's too far behind. He can't keep, take trades like that. Anymore. And I, Caesar knows that well, so he's not going to approach either. Caesar Why would he? so on point with these explosives. Oh, okay. There it is. That's what I was talking about earlier. Rico knows how to edge trades. Exactly. Uh, that's where the experience comes in, obviously. Ooh. Wow, that's okay. kill. Dang, he's still looking really good. Caesar is, yeah, he's on a different planet right now. You see that movement? And then the bay. Oh my god, look at Caesar. Caesar using those nares. Uh, he's probably the best like close up snake I know. Like yeah. when I'm in close to him, I'm actually more scared than when he's like yeah. throwing projectiles at him. Because he's just, I don't know. When he's boxing with snake, it's scary. Yeah. And not seeing him. This grenade play is oh really good god. right now. Oh my god! There off of it. Oh my god! Give him some time to breathe, please. He's bouncing all over the screen <laughs> like a fucking pinball. Dude, he's yeah, exactly. It's like he's playing volleyball with himself. Yeah. And he's just hitting him back and forth from himself to the grenade. I don't he's know how he does garden. it. Okay. Rico picks it up. The thing about his stock. DK is that yeah. he yeah. can bring this back, so it's still a, it's still an even game. Let's be honest. With giant punch. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is a scary spot for Snake actually. Um, well, well, Snake has a lot of ways to kill, but... Uh -oh. Oh, oh my god! Oh, oh my god! What a way to end it. Ends it with the up tilt. That was a little scary at the end. Um, if... if uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, dude. Um, <laughs> Caesar almost watched everything just slip away from him. <laughs> yeah, he was clearly shaking in his boots, probably shitting himself in the process, but... Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know that from personal... I don't know, like, if that's actually happening. Dude, holy fuck. I think it is confirmed he did show himself. Yeah. So, I think he just confirmed that. So, um, this is an interesting one, position because let's see if KDK can um, bring that momentum back into this game as well. Um, yeah. If he can, that's going to be good. Okay. Let's, let's see if Caesar can pick up this quick 3-0. Yeah. He's looking so strong in those first two games. Um, Caesar's like, he very he starts off strong, and I think he really knows he needs to win, or not needs to, but he really wants to win this game. Yeah. Because um, that's where Caesar thrives. He, uh, he, oh! Oh my god. You're Alright. Later, Doug. Hi, Joe. Um. Oh, they keep like charging. Oh, uh, good night. Wait. Yo, Max. What were the characters? N score. The whole set was Sonic Kazuya. Oh, okay. Then it was Sonic Kaz. Or Kaz, sorry. Right, Kazuya Shulk. Kazuya Shulk, last game. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, alright, let's shut this shit down. <laughs> yeah. That's so fucking funny. So that breaks out. Alright, we're back. Um, okay, we're whoa, back. Oh, it's really even. Okay, wow. Um, so, oh, uh, kind of like not what, he, what you want to see if you're so Whoa, there's the down. Yeah, I, I think I was right about that. Uh, KDK is definitely taking that momentum from that end of that last game, bringing it into this game. And this is where this Caesar basically is playing a game of just hold your ground. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Oh, oh my god, he almost. Whoa. <laughs> uh, <laughs> At this point, Caesar doesn't have to do anything crazy special. He needs to just hold his ground in these last games so he doesn't, you know, yeah. choke. But, ooh. Uh -huh. Rico is playing really good right now. I like he's just like, he's playing super patient in, this, in the neutral right now. All the empty hops. Yeah. Oh! But now he's spacing a lot better around the I mean, yeah, he's, def he's playing like a different person, let's be honest. I like that down there. Okay. He needs to get something here. Oh, I don't really know what you do. <laughs> the Nikita was still... Are you kidding me? I, 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 um... 
I, I don't really know what he does. Erm, da da da. Okay. Whoa. Caesar, I like that. that. Though, that's right. Okay, he needs something here. He needs something cooking here. Yeah, he's got a. Whoa. That's, I don't know if he can do that. Okay, he's controlling the stage really well, and you don't want that. You gotta make sure he doesn't get that stage control. I like how Rico is threatening the downer to the platform. I know, I like it a lot. You could tell that it like, really scared off Caesar. Yeah, what, one thing Rico that Rico that is stage. really good about is you knowing what moves people are scared of, right? And he's using that right now. Yeah. And he knows people are scared of, like the punch. Oh my god! Yeah, I was a just. Oh. A, I was. He, I was <laughs> just about to say he's. Ex he's like. He's controlling that horizontal space the yes, same exactly. way, but with the threat of giant. He's and he's not doing anything, he's just jumping. Yeah. But he knows his opponent is scared of what he has. And that's what he's so good about, is that mental game. There's a draw kick. There's a really? oh. oh my god. This is coming down to the wire. Oh! This could be a stock. We'll see what happens. KDK has to play this really safe. Oh! oh what an air dodge. Oh my god. That was such, a, oh. That was such an American air dodge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. Popping off. And Sojuice takes it. That's a big upset. That's a nice upset. Clean 3-0. That was a good set. Rico, you could stay on. Um. And then you're your friend Rico. Holy shit. That was good shit. Dude, that's holy fuck. He was playing phenomenal that set. Yeah.